Hey everyone, Tyler again. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made a wooden wall mosaic with a mountain range, a forest, a log cabin, and a lake. Here we go. The idea I had in my head had mountains, trees, log cabin, and a lake in it. So I reviewed images on Google and then came up with a design. I then drew that out on paper with some colors for reference. After that, I put it into SketchUp and then added dimensions to those areas. Once that was complete, I added those dimensions to my plywood backer board. After the layout was complete, I used my thin strip jig on my table saw to cut strips with a thickness of 1 8 inch, 1 quarter inch, 1 half inch, and 3 quarter inch. This was to give the piece a depth when you were to look at it. In using this jig, I kept my fingers safely away from the blade. Part of the design of these mountains was a 30 degree angle at the top and a 60 degree angle at the base. I started off by cutting this 30 degree angle at the top, laying it on my layout, and ensuring I was in the proper location. After that, I measured the distance needed for that 60 degree angle and marked it. I then went to cut that 60 degree angle on the miter saw. But as I was doing this, I realized that I was having some difficulties with geometry. I even tried some potentially unsafe things to get that 60 degree angle, but realized better to be safe than sorry. So I double checked my measurements and I was correct that this should be a 60 degree angle. It was very late, and for some reason, I could not get it through my mind that I could not cut a 60 degree angle on the miter saw without some fancy setup or additional jig that was needed. This, in the end, was a little frustrating, and I went to the table saw to cut it, but I, it was an unsafe cut, in my opinion. So in the end, I settled with rough cutting it on the band saw and then sanding to the line. This ensured a nice, crisp angle that I could use. I proceeded to use the miter saw and band saw and sander when needed to cut each individual piece. I would then mark it on the plywood and give it a number so that I could know where they went, so I could glue them in sections as opposed to each individual piece. I then proceeded to use super glue and wood glue with the super glue acting as a clamp with the accelerator to glue pieces together to form sections. I then laid them out, figuring out where I want them, and marked where I could cut the mountains for the peaks. I chose colors with my lovely wife helping me, and then used acrylic paints and watered down to get the desired color. I wanted the wood grain to show through. I then got smart and used gloves. Here you can see me painting the mountains just using a paper towel. I ran out of paint, and my wife helped me make some more. I did this not once, but twice. While I was waiting for these to dry, I cut out the mountain tops and painted them white. My daughter said, that's for snow. After that, I used wood glue to attach those parts I've already cut out. I didn't use the super glue here. I just let the wood glue dry overnight and it was perfectly fine. If you want to, you could stop here and have mountains with a meadow by a lake. While this was drying, I went and cut triangles out for trees. I then painted them a forest green by mixing together a few colors and adding water to make sure that the wood grain could show through. After this, I laid them out how I wanted them, messing with it a little bit, and ended up using super glue to put them down. As these were drying, I worked on the cabin. I wanted it to have a log cabin feel. So I cut these pieces to stick out a little more than the rest of them. Once this was complete, I painted this with a raw umber and a gold metallic flake. You can't see it in the images very well, but the flake really pops in person. A corner broke off, but I just painted that separately and glued it on later. Once this was dry, I positioned it on my backer board and glued it down. Here you can see some of the final shots. I really love the depth of this piece and the different thicknesses 
and how it all comes together. I think the red chimney really pops, and the mountains add a very good visual for how small we are in this world. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and God bless.